Hi everyone. Today we going to see about valuation of goodwill. Meaning of goodwill. It is a good name or reputation earned by a firm. It is an intangible assets. That means we cannot see the goodwill. It is the value of business over and above the value of its assets. It is difference between the purchase price and the value of net assets. It has a positive impact on the future turnover and the profits of the business. Factors affecting the valuation of goodwill. Good public relations, regular customers, quality products in reasonable price, management skill, location of a business, good relation with suppliers, employees. These are the major factors affecting the valuation of goodwill of the firm. Methods of valuation of goodwill. Simple average profit method. Second one is super profit method. Third one is wasted average profit method. Fourth one is capitalization method. Capitalization method classified into two. Capitalization of average profit method. Capitalization of super profit method. The first method is simple average profit method. Simple average method, the formula is goodwill is equal to average profit into number of years purchase. Average profit is equal to total profit divided by number of years. Number of years of purchase means the number of years for which the firm is likely to earn the same amount of profit. Things to be considered before calculating the average profit. If there is any abnormal profit in the sum, we want to deduct that from the net profit. If there is any abnormal loss, we want to add back to the net profit. Non-operating income, we want to less from the net profit. Let us go into see illustration number 1. Following details are available about Alpha Limited. Profits 2010, 1 lakh. 2011, 1,25,000. 2012 1,40,000 profit 2010 has be, have been reduced by rupees 15,000 because of goods destroyed by the fire. Non-recurring income of rupees 10,000 is included in the profit of 2011. Profit of 2012 include rupees 10,000 income from investment. Let us see the solutions. In the year 2010, Destroyed by a fire is unexpected losses. These losses we want to add with the net profit. In the year 2011, non-recurring income. This amount we want to less from the net profit. In the year 2012, income from investment. This amount also we want to less from the net profit. And then we can get the future maintainable profit. Average profit is equal to future maintainable profit divided by number of years purchase. Goodwill is equal to future maintainable profit into number of years purchase. Now we are going to see about the second method, super profit method. Goodwill is calculated on the basis of super profit. It is the excess of actual profit over the average profit. Formula, goodwill is equal to super profit into number of years purchase. Super profit is equal to average profit minus normal profit. Normal profit is equal to Capital employed into normal rate of return. Now we are going to see illustration 2. Average profit is rupees 60,000. Capital employed is rupees 5 lakhs. NRR is the 10 percentage. Calculate goodwill is on the basis of 4 years purchase of super profit. Let us see the solutions. Normal profit is equal to capital employed into normal rate of return. We can get 50,000. Super profit is equal to average profit minus normal profit. We can get super profit as 10,000. Goodwill is equal to super profit into number of years purchase. So we can have the goodwill as the 40,000. The third method is weighted average profit. In this method, the, uh, they are giving certain weights for each year profit like 1, 2, 3 like that. Formula for weighted average profit is equal to total products of the profit divided by total of weights. Goodwill is equal to weighted average profit into number of years purchase. Capitalization of profit method. Capitalization of average profit method. Average profit divided by NRR into 100. Second method. Capitalization of super profit method. Super profit divided by NRR into 100. Assessment. Kindly answer the following questions. The methodologies are employed in assessing the fair value of goodwill in your valuation process. Second question. How to change the marketing condition impact the ongoing valuation of goodwill for your organization? 
third one can you briefly explain the role of futures cash flow projections in determining the value of goodwill